Hello and welcome to the Carvin Channel. My name is Daryl Williams. I'm here to introduce you to something very cool from Carvin. It's the Micro Bass Amp Series. Killer sounding, lightweight, and very affordable. The Micro Bass Amp Series comes in three models. They all share the same amplifier, but they all have different speaker configurations. And the first one we're going to look at today is the MB-15. Uh, the MB-15 has a 115 low frequency driver and a neodymium tweeter. Okay, the controls on this amp are on top of the amplifier. Okay, so I've uh, flipped it on its face so you could see all the features. Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, the uh, first thing I want to look at is the power because that's important to me, okay? 200 watts. That's plenty for any small room, any small venue, okay? If you need just a little bit more wattage, you can add an extension speaker and add another 50 watts. 250 watts. Now, it also has a headphone jack for private listening. Okay, the next thing right to your left of the headphone out is the direct out, which is used for several things, okay? If you're in a club and you're not loud enough and you want to run into the uh, PA system, that's what the direct out is for. Or if you just want to use it for home recording, it's great for that as well. And for the direct out, we have a pre-EQ and post-EQ. It's really simple, real easy. And also we have a ground lift. If you have any issues with a uh, 60 cycle hum, hopefully you won't. You just hit the ground lift and you should be okay. Okay, let's talk about the EQ section of this amplifier, which I feel is very powerful, especially uh, for an amp of its size. It has a full range bass and treble, a boost and cut, and sweepable mid-range. Okay, so right to the left of the bass is the contour, which is great for slap style. It's uh, basically a, a scoop of the mid-range. Okay, and if you look right under the bass control, there's a studio grade compressor. So this knob has two purposes. It's a headphone control and it controls the direct out. And right to the left of that is an active passive switch. And right to the left of the active switch is the mute switch. And if you look right here, we have a tweeter full switch or a uh, dim switch. If you want the really aggressive slap sound, then you use the tweeter full. If your uh, sound is a bit too ambient and, and you don't want a lot of highs, then you use the dim switch. And one cool attention to detail is the international power supply, uh, which means you can use this amp anywhere in the world with no power converters. I would also recommend this amplifier for upright bass players. I don't have an upright here, but I'm going to do my best to simulate a jazz sound on the electric bass. Thank you. 
Okay, so now let's look at the MB12. This model has the exact same amplifier as the MB15 with a completely different speaker configuration. Okay, this amplifier has a down firing 12 inch driver and a Neo 6 inch speaker and a tweeter. And finally, the smallest and most portable of the micro bass series is the MB10. It has a 10 inch driver and a Neo tweeter. Okay, so as you have heard, this is a great sounding amplifier. It's wonderful for all styles, Latin music, rock, jazz, blues, reggae, funk, of course. And today I use the uh, Carvin SB5000 to record everything. This is a great sounding instrument. I own a few myself. If you want to know uh, more about this instrument, just go look at the website, or you can check out some of the cool videos on the Carvin channel. And to record everything today, we use the Carvin CTM100 tube condenser microphone. All right, so look, a lot of killer products from Carvin today.